what's up, Stark Karen. Today, I'm just going to do a really quick sort of tip for you guys because it's something I see a lot and it's something I've dealt with a lot and I'm sure you have too. So you're going to like this. So I have for, uh, we'll call it all intents and purposes, uh, Bug Man. Okay. Now, what I want to go over is I'm positive tons of you guys use um, Red Giant looks. So we'll just call this Red Giant looks. Okay. And we'll go to Effect Red Magic. Sorry. Magic Bullet looks. All right. And then let's open it up. And this is kind of what you're met with. Okay, you've been in this situation, and I should say that, especially when you're in a higher bit depth and you're working linearly, right? So what I used to do years and years ago is I was just kind of like, okay, which one looks, I guess, generally the best? And then you click it, you're like, yeah, and then this is what you get. It looks nothing like it, all right? So it's a very simple fix for this, and I actually don't know why they don't have this built in, but we'll just keep this guy here, and then... We're going to use something called typing in profile there because that's what it's called. And what we need to do is essentially change this into a different color space. All right. So project working space is here. We want to change the, the uh, output. Okay. So this, we just want to change it because we're in sRGB. Okay. And we want to, but we're in linear. So we want to go back to sRGB. Right, so I'm just gonna copy this guy. All right, now I'm just gonna pre-compose this, which you I, you should do anyways. It's just before you add, like that should be the last thing you do is add looks. So we'll just call this main. All right. So now we'll go to back to effect, red giant, magic bullet, looks, and when we open this, now we're getting an accurate representation okay so there's one in here that i just thought looked fine it was called offspring okay and i'm just going to turn off the vignette and yeah just turn that off and i like the chromatic aberration so i'll just keep it okay so now you come back here's the problem right doesn't it still doesn't look right so i'm just going to paste what i had before and now we will just reset this project working space is rgb and there you go that's exactly how you do it now when you go through all of these it should look exactly the same okay so that's all guys just a very very quick tip and this is just something i wanted to go over just because, you know, going along with newer tutorials, if I do things and you're wondering how that's happening. And again, if you're in um, non-linear workspace, you're not going to have this problem. But if you are, and you are using like rendered out 3D passes, then this is what you should be doing. So that's all guys. And I hope this actually helps. I find this very useful. So now you don't have to wonder why everything looks wrong. So later.